Welcome back to Mob's World, everyone. And uh, I think I need to intervene here. This poor horse. Oh no! Uh, please let me. Let me. Come on. There we go. Sorry about that, Mister Horsey. Yes, you're 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 most welcome. Um, what's that? You think we need to uh, hire a pest uh, pesticide application, dude? I don't know about that. Uh. Um. Wait. Where Where is this guy? Huh? Well, where are these all coming from? You know what? You might be right, Mr. Horse. It might be... Yes, I fully agree. Those wasps are nasty critters. And they need to be annihilated. Uh, 100%. Totally and completely, 100% agree with you. Uh, I think I'm going to go work on that. But first, I need to get a little food because I'm starving. What about these? I think these are strawberries. Sure, I'll eat some strawberries. I'm not getting very good yield from these. Only two strawberries per plant? But there's like four right there. Or is that eight? That's eight. There's eight strawberries on the plant. Oh wait, I must have been getting more than two on some of those. Because that would have only put me at, what, 32? Well, I'm going to eat everything that I don't plant. Well, at least till I'm not hungry anymore. Hmm, that's pretty much everything I've just picked. Alright, now time to go and kill those wasps. Alright, so where are they coming from? I don't get it. No new wasps? Well, that's good. Um, I feel like there's probably a wasp nest up here someplace. There's a bird. There was a Nyan cat I saw a while back. Um, can I possibly jump up there? I can't, but that's no problem for me. Just make a little step into there. Um, I feel like there really must be a wasp nest here. Whoa, ho, ho. sand monsters, trolls, whatever those big green ones are. There it is. There it is. I found it. And an ion cap. And a flying pit. Oh, dude. There's another one here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ronky, Ronky. Alright, let's take this one out first. And... Yeah, there'll be a whole plethora of little wasps that come flying out of there. Whoa, you just totally went through a tree. How did you even do that? They must be, uh... Carpenter bees. Okay, now where was that other one? Because I'm just betting that's where these guys were coming from. Oh, great. Oh, great. Fortunately, they uh, aren't going... Oh, wait. Here they come. They're all going after me. Fortunately, this bear is here to help. All right. Well, that's... Uh... That looks like that's the wasps taken care of for the time being. Let's just make sure there's not another nest out here. Who needs... Who needs to hire a pest control when you can just do it yourself? Oh, a little beetle. Okay, well, I think... I think we have taken care of the wasp problem. Which is good, because I would hate for someone to be, you know, enjoying themselves. Visiting the zoo. And then to be rudely attacked by wasps that would be quite the calamity oh and dealing with those wasps made me completely 100% forget this a protected chest and I have no idea how this got here like literally I have no idea this is a protected area um, if I pull chat up and I grab my protection block here. I can put one here. And it says areas owned by Nathan S21. Owned by Nathan S21. Owned by Nathan S21. And owned by Nathan S21. And yes, even the location the chest is at is owned by me. So I don't know exactly who placed this chest. It's got a Nyan axe, a Nyan pickaxe, magic lasso, wool backpack, and a bunch of poplar tree trunks. Now I don't know if this wool backpack has anything in it. Let's find out, though. Wait, top hat? What's a top hat? In mob protection room. Top hat. 
Is that something I can, like, wear? That'd be kind of silly. Uh, under armor. Did that do anything? No, it didn't. But I wonder, can I put... Well, I can put anything in there, though, so... That proves zilch. Can I place... Whoa, ho, ho, wait a minute, what? I feel like the top hat's not supposed to just place infinite... What in the world? I can place an infinite amount of top hats without losing them, and then I can... Okay, something's weird about this. I don't know where this stuff came from. Had it been given me by an admin, I feel like they would have contacted me to let me know. I am interested now, though. Top hat. What is... Mob snowman top hat. And black wool. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm just going to leave that chest there because I really don't know why it's there. And, uh, da -da. let's see here. Maybe do a little garden work. It's been a few weeks since I played, actually. The server went down for a while. I don't know why. But it wasn't up for... I would say four days. So, during that whole time, I, uh, of course, did not play at all. And, uh, didn't record any videos because the server wasn't up. And this was last weekend that it was down, and it was, like I said, it was down for a while. I'm not really sure what was going on there. I don't know if it was just, uh, cause I'm not sure exactly if the server is hosted on a home computer. Or if it's hosted on a, uh, what do you call it, a VPS, a virtual private server, which essentially is a server in a data center someplace, and you pay them money, and you pretty much get access to the server via, uh, I don't know, SSH or something, and then you go ahead and use it exactly like you would a computer, you know, sitting in your next room or something, but it's... It's not using up any of your internet. Basically, I think that's really the big advantage to the VPS. Is that it's using internet at a data center. So it's gigabit internet. Super fast. And you don't have to worry about you know, your home internet going down. Or somebody hacking into your home computer. Because they know your IP from your server. So I'm fairly certain that's generally what the... The big uh, benefit is to doing that. But again, I don't know if this is hosted on a VPS or if it's a home server. Because I know there are a few people that do run mind test servers just off of computers in their house. It's actually somebody that runs it off of an old laptop. And uh, I guess it, it works pretty well for him. Because it seems to be a relatively popular server. He also does videos on it. Uh, Man, now I can't remember his name. Maker Miner? Something like that? He, uh, I forget what the server's name is, but last I heard, he was running it off of an old laptop. And, uh, I think he was actually running a few servers off of that one laptop. I've never visited the servers myself, but he's done videos and I've watched some of them on his servers and they seem to run pretty good. There was a period where he was having some pretty serious issues, but those seem to have gotten fixed and... Yeah, it seems to be working fine for him. So, I don't know which way this server was. I don't know what caused the outage. All I know is there was an outage, but it's back. So, I'm recording another video. And, yeah, that's what you just literally finished watching. Because this is the end of it. So, with that said, thank you for watching. And be sure to come back again next week. Same time, same channel. For another thrilling episode, which will probably be more thrilling than this one was. Because I'll just kind of get myself reacquainted with what was going on um probably be working on the animal cages in the next episode so be sure to be there